Now, we were waiting for the election support from the Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield to be submitted to the Chairman and the Commission of the Guyana Elections Commission. Um, Mr. Lowenfield did not submit that report today. Instead, he wrote to the Chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission asking her for clarity on the letter that she had written to him. He said he did not understand the letter and, and he wanted to know which report exactly she was asking him for in keeping with the ruling of the CCJ. Now the CCJ ruling is important because the ruling has set aside a ruling by Guyana's Court of Appeal and in so doing it also set aside the report submitted to the Guyana Elections Commission on June 23rd by Mr. Lowenfield himself. In that report, Lowenfield again did not obey the instructions of the Chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission when she asked him to submit his report based on the figures from the national vote recount. Those figures show a victory for the opposition People's Progressive Party. Instead, Mr. Lowenfield submitted a report in which he disenfranchised over 115,000 voters to hand the incumbent APNU AFC uh, majority victory. Now with the CEO asking the chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission for clarity, uh, the meeting today adjourned with the commission offering, the, the chairman rather, offering that clarity to Mr. Lowenfield. Mr. Lowenfield would have to respond by 11 tomorrow with the elections report that the chairman and the Guyana Elections Commission has asked him for. Now, as I said, we were speaking to some commissioners. Uh, Mr. Sis Gunraj uh, believes that Lowenfield at this point should comply with the instructions of the chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission or he would be have to face the consequences. He said there are a range of consequences that Lowenfield can face for disobeying repeated instructions to, pro to produce his report to the commission. Uh, Mr. Alexander also spoke with us, but he believes that Mr. Lowenfield has valid points in the letter that he wrote to the chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission, and he too feels that the ruling of the Carbon Court of Justice has uh, provided a conundrum where the order of the recount, he, did, he said, should be set aside. But we've had other commentators on the issue. We've had local attorneys and we've had attorneys from the region and election uh, attorney, Mr. Anthony Astavan from Dominica, saying that with the CCJ ruling, the only option that the chief elections officer has at this time is to produce his report based on the recount figures. Uh, the commission will meet here again at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning on Saturday, where the CEO is again expected to submit his report. Uh, we will continue to follow the developments and continue to bring you updates. You can join us again here tomorrow at 11 when we will provide you with further updates.